I just uh, gotten uh, call this gotten wind of this video by the Wall Street Journal on their YouTube channel that um, Google is now being under under investigation for antitrust. Hmm. Puede. <laughs> because um, Google is a behemoth right now, all right? A search engine behemoth, right? They they own YouTube, they own Android. Yeah? The very phone I'm using right now is an Android phone. Now they are being investigated for for an antitrust case. In case you don't know what an antitrust is, well, basically an antitrust is something uh, something that safeguards uh, what you call this economies from monopolies. All right. It all started probably during the late 1890s when um, when guys like Rockefeller, Carnegie, uh, J.P. Morgan were actually lording it over the uh, over the U.S. economy at the time. They know, okay, those three know how to monopolize an industry, especially Rockefeller. Right? He gobbled up every competitor he has at the time. So, ang nangyari, kontrolado na niya ang market. Right? It's a true monopoly. Kasi siya lang ang nagpo-provide ng, uh, ng oil, ng fuel at the time. He was the, he was the, he was the industry's one and only supplier. Eventually, the, the US government won its antitrust case. Standard Oil was broken up into 35 smaller companies, right? which eventually became the big three. Okay, uh, I, I forgot the names of the big three. I'm talking about worldwide, uh, worldwide oil companies. All right, I forgot, I forgot their names right now. But anyway, fact of the matter is, Google is under the same situation. It's beginning to look like the, the antitrust case, Microsoft. Uh, had itself in in the 90s here's a scenario if Google uh, were to be filed an antitrust case and they lost well they have no choice but to let go of some of their uh, some of their ownerships especially YouTube okay if that happens Google and YouTube will be competitors now because both are search engines. All right. Now, <clears throat> eventually, who wins? Us. The consumers, the creators, and uh, the users, practically. Because, well, we have a choice now. We want to either search, um, search for information on either Google or YouTube. But we do that nowadays. But if you are a YouTuber like me, this will work in your favor. Why? I am exp if that happens, okay, if YouTube eventually uh, gets separated from Google, every creator will be very happy because it can now liberalize itself. Okay? The, um, the rules will be more will be more loose all right of course although we can't we, we can't deny the fact that copa will always be here okay so whether your content is safe for kids or not it, it'd still be here but most of its rules are very stringent okay youtube i'm talking about youtube here it's all because of google google wants to keep investor confidence with uh when they want they want really want to keep investor confidence all right say well if you own stocks in google you have to if you're google you have to satisfy investors confidence you have to satisfy uh investors will so in order to satisfy investors will you have to keep a leash on creators like me so if you're a creator you better hope and pray that google loses youtube in an antitrust case if if it pushes through right so linkedin if google's antitrust case pushes through and they lost google will lose youtube my 
neighbor's roof is really noisy right now. Okay. We're feeling the, the effects of a new typhoon uh, named Ulysses. Right. And, uh, well, I'm trying to uh, do my best right now to, uh, to grind. And, well, of course, I got to get some sleep. And I don't know if you can hear it, but the wind is really noisy right now. That's my neighbor's. That's my neighbor's roof. Okay. <sighs> right. We've been through. Um, we've been through a lot of typhoons over, my, over the years since. Um, since we moved here to San Pedro. And. Uh, we've seen. The actual eye, of a storm. That was Milenio in two thousand five. Wow, I couldn't forget that one. I couldn't forget that one because um, we had a mango tree when this uh, when this property was still ours. We had a mango tree there. We had a we had a garden and had a huge mango tree. And Milenio just just cut it down, right? And along with the um, along with the the steel part of our of our wall. Right, the dali So uh, we had to. We had that part of the house had to undergo major repairs. Right, the wind was really brutal. All right, so we had to we had to let the storm pass first before we we could actually do something with the fallen tree. You know what? It's times like this that we should respect not we should respect Mother Nature more. Do you agree with me? Okay. When you hear funny things like uh, howling winds and roofs roofs being torn off. Yeah. Igalang mo na ang kanikasan. Respect Mother Nature now that's a uh, well, life tip for you Instagram life tip for you I'm still undecided as to whether to start streaming now or do I have to wait for Friday midnight the one thing that is making me think about that right now is um this that one right I'm trying to save my latest episode reviews uh, episode reactions digest first time I tried to save it it crashed this is the second time and um, the first save attempt stopped at 81% and it stayed there for about Two hours. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, well, let's see. Uh, if it, if it, um, if it finishes uh, rendering, if it finishes rendering this video by um, ten or ten thirty p.m., I may start the I may start my uh, my Twitch stream early. But if not. It's midnight again. I'll have to start the Twitch stream with a sleep stream. You know, punctuality has been my um, has been my strongest suit ever, even ever since I was um, ever since I was in high school. Yeah, I might have I tapered off a bit during um, early to mid uh, or during my. Um, uh, I'm a bit ashamed to to open up like to open up about it like now right now it's um, probably my um, early to mid 20s <laughs> but you know what being punctual has 
reap the most rewards for me. All right, but not not all the time. All right, not all the time. The only time I remember that punctuality did not serve me well was during the board exam. <laughs> I failed it three times. Okay, in all the three times that I have that I have taken the board exam, I was I was among the first to be at the examination venue. No matter where it was. Okay, no matter where it was. But, well, I still flunked it three times. <laughs> but 90-95% 90, of the time, yeah, I have reaped a lot of rewards with being punctual. Okay, like, well, my dad has always, uh, has always told me, even when I was... Uh, anyway, even when I was uh, in about 10, 11 years old, kailangan agahan mo. Kung alam mong matatrapikan ka, agahan mo. Di baling mauna ka sa, mauna ka sa usapan nyo, wag lang ikaw mahuli. I've been taking that to heart up to now. Especially now that I'm, well, that I, I got my own brand, and I'm and people are um, people are actually asking me for advice. Uh, most especially when I was in sales full time. Okay, I really had to give the prospect a good impression. So the only way to do that is to be first is to be first at our uh, at our arranged meeting venue. So TikTok. Here's a power tip for you. You want to make money? You want to experience success? Be punctual. Be punctual. I've been uh, served a travesty of justice of sorts. <laughs> this one. This one. See this? Yep. This teaspoon has been with me since my elementary days. All right. I was in um, grade five when I uh, when I first used this teaspoon. Now it's broken. All right. It's already given out. And um, I have squeezed one too many tea bags with this. That's why. <laughs> all right. So, well, I'm done with this, uh, I'll be done with this, uh, this teaspoon. Well, what am I driving at here? Okay, what am I driving at here? Over time, you just have to, um, when things, uh, didn't go your way, you just have to, you, you gotta learn to, you gotta learn, you gotta learn to let go. I did not learn to let go with this, with this, uh, with this teaspoon, all right? And, uh, uh, I didn't exactly pay the price for it, but it served me that lesson really well. When things get old, they break, all right? You just have to, you, you just have to accept that fact. It it would be pointless if you keep on holding on to that thing. You know it's going to give out sooner or later. You know it's going to break. But you kept on using it. You didn't say to yourself, Oh, I need to replace this. All things need replacing. This is what I learned <laughs> what I learned when uh, when I broke this teaspoon of mine. The teaspoon I've had since, yeah, since 1983. All right, 1983. You got to face that fact that everything in life gets replaced. That's a life tip for you, Twitch. That's a life tip for you. I repeat, everything in life gets replaced.
The stream yesterday failed. I'm going to do another. Actually, I'm going to do another test stream right now. So if uh, if the sound doesn't die out, right? If the sound doesn't die out, you know how going on. There is now audio in the stream, but in the recording, it dies out. All right? But there is a um, there is a fix that I. That I discovered in both OBS and Streamlabs, but na actually na, na discover ko tong una sa OB, uh, sa Streamlabs. Okay, so you want to make the background really transparent, Yari, black. Okay, black yung background. You want to, you want to totally eliminate that. Do not use chroma key. Instead, use color key. All right. So if you're using OBS or OBS or Streamlabs, you you'll get what I'm saying. Ditch the chroma key, use color key instead. Kasi mas mas accurate siya. Because uh, if you want to eliminate the color, if you want to eliminate that color, talaga tinatanggal niya yung color. All right? And mahala ka na kung anong sharp how, how sharp the actual uh <clears throat> the actual graphic you want to uh, you want to you want to appear you want to see malaka na so chroma uh, color key is better than chroma key when it comes to removing backgrounds of other videos like hey, I'll I'll show you this I'll show you uh, I'll show you the example all right uh huh okay let me let me show you Oh, okay. See that? That's the one. That's the video. That's actually a video I made just to uh, highlight my social accounts. The original background of that is black. See? No background. Totally transparent. I used color key instead of chroma key. So that's another uh, another OBS hack for you guys. All right. So Telegram, when it comes to uh, OBS or Streamlabs, oh for any uh, yeah for any streaming app for that matter, if if it has this kind these kinds of settings, color key is better than chroma key. <laughs> 